I'm here at Metherall Meets today right outside of Dunedin to talk about the Green Party's plan to support family farmers and local food processors. We're deeply concerned about the challenges that our family farmers and our local food processors are facing. I know you can't go into a grocery store today without people saying, why can't I get more local food? Well, if we don't support our farmers and local food processors, that local food won't be available. I think it's wrong that the Liberal government has allowed 70% of Ontario's abattoirs to go out of business in the last decade with little comment or, or, or protests from the opposition parties at Queen's Park. That has to change. We've seen the last tender fruit processing plant in Niagara close. We've seen bricks, pickles close. We've got to stop the closure of our local food processors because they provide good local jobs and they provide a central <clears throat> market outlet for our family farmers and to ensure that people have access to local food. The Green Party will end one-size-fits-all regulations that support, that are written for the big corporations at the expense of smaller local food processors. We need smart regulations to ensure food safety while at the same time taking into account the unique uh, challenges and opportunities that are available to small and medium-sized processors. Uh, the Green Party will also provide a fund of $245 million in tax credits to help farmers and uh, local food processors invest in rural infrastructure to improve our uh, food processing capacity uh, within our communities. The Green Party is also calling for ending the barriers to success to our family farmers and local food processors by removing tax penalties and zoning restrictions that prevent the development for on-farm local food processing. A Green MPP will stand up every day at Queens Park to fight for our family farmers, to fight for our local food processors, and to preserve farmland from crazy developments like the mega quarry and the peaker plant in the Hall of Marsh. It's time for a comprehensive Ontario food and farming strategy to support our family farmers, ensure access to healthy local food, and to benefit our local economies. On October 6th, it's time to vote green.